Good morning students. We are discussing on water resource engineering and hydrology. We are learning about dams and reservoirs. Well, in previous lecture, we have started discussing about the dams. In this lecture, we will discuss about some factors that affect while you are selecting the type of dam as well as while you are selecting the site for constructing a dam. So, starting with the first, that is the factors that governing for selection of type of dam. Okay. So, well, whenever you are selecting a particular dam, okay, a type of dam, before that, the various things that we need to keep in our mind. Okay. So, the first thing that matters while selecting the type of dam, that is the topography. The first choice. For the type of dam is usually governed by the topography of that site. A low rolling plains country suggests an earthen dam with a separate spillway, while a low narrow V shaped valley that suggests an arc dam. Same way, a narrow stream that flowing between high rocky banks that will suggest a concrete overflow dam. Such a kind of a gravity dam, we can say. Okay. Well, a, a narrow V shaped valley which gives us a minimum distance between that two endpoints and it has a V shape. So the bottom would be shrinked. Okay. So at that particular stage, you cannot uh, construct a earthen dam or we can say a rigid dam or we can say a gravity dam. Okay. So at such place, the arc dam that would be better so that the whole load can be transferred by the end points. Well, uh, the next factor that govern that is the geology and foundation condition for that particular site. Well, all the forces that acting on the dam, including its weight, those are transmitted to the foundation. As such, the foundation condition at the dam site need to be thoroughly investigated. Well, if the foundation consists of a sound rock with no fault or fissures, then any, any kind of or any type of dam we can construct on that particular foundation or the land area. Well, the poor rock or the gravel foundation are suitable only for the earthen dam or rock fill dams. Well, sealed and fine sand foundations. If you found this sealed and uh, fine sand at the foundation level, okay. So at such uh, foundations, there is a problem of settlements and seepage and uh, to erosion. So at such case or at such foundations, only other dam or we can say a low concrete dam can be used. But yes. There is no possibility to construct a rock fill dam because this rock has the heavy weight and uh, that may lead to the erosion. Okay. Well, uh, gravity dams or the rock fill dams are not suitable on the clay foundation. So these are the possibilities for the different type of dam. Well, the third that is the availability of the construction material that also affect to select the type of foundation. Because the cost of construction of particular type of dam that depend upon the availability of material in nearby area, so that the transportation charge can be reduced. Okay. Now, if sand, gravel, and crust stone is easily available at the nearby site, a concrete gravity dam can be constructed. Well, or if the coarse and fine grain soils are available, then we can choose the earthen dam to construct. So, as per the material available, we can choose a particular type of dam. Well, the next that is the spillway size and the location. Now, this leads to the structural segment. Well, spillway is a structure that provided for a dam to pass the surplus water or the flood water. Yes. Now, 
uh, it is an overflow portion of the dam. The size and type of spillway are mainly decided by the magnitude of the flood that may arise or that may bypass and its location also. So, if a large spillway capacity is required, an overflow concrete gravity dam should be preferred and where the small spillway capacity is required at such place, the earthen dam can be referred. The next factor that is the roadway. Well, if a roadway is to be passed over the top of the dam, an earthen dam or the gravity dam can be preferred. The next that is the length and the height of the dam. This is the dimensions of a dam and so according to the dimension sometimes it may possible that we need to change the type of dam that we have selected. So if the length of the dam is very long and height is low, an earthen dam would be preferred and if the length is small but the height is more, so at such place gravity dam would be a better choice. The next that is the life of the dam. Well, concrete or masonry gravity dams have a very long life, while earth and rock filled dams have intermediate life. But if we go for a temporary structure and for that sometimes we use the timber dams. Okay, so the timber dams are adopted only for the temporary storage and their life is very low. Well, the next that is the earthquake zone. Well, after 2001 earthquake, this is the most important thing. Whenever you are uh, constructing any structure, this is the main criteria when you are designing. That is the earthquake zone. What is the earthquake zone? So that also affect the type of the dam. Well, if a dam is constructed, in an area that is subjected to earthquake shocks, then the selection of type of dam should be such that, that it is able to resist the earthquake shock properly without causing any damage. Well, normally earth dam and a concrete gravity dam is preferred in the earthquake prone areas because it has a heavy stability and give uh, better strength to the structure so that it can bear earthquake shocks. Well, the last that is the cost. Well, according to the cost, we need to choose the type of dam. The overall cost of construction of dam and the cost of subsequent maintenance would often become the deciding factor in choice of the dam. Well, the cost of construction of dam is affected by the availability and the price of construction material and also the labor. The initial cost of concrete gravity dam is high, but subsequent maintenance cost of the gravity dam, concrete gravity dam, that is low. While in the case of earth dam or earthen dam, we can say the initial cost is very low, but same way. The maintenance cost of that earthen dam that is very high. Okay, so we have we need to choose accordingly that what we can adopt. Okay, so these are the main factors that governing the selection of type of dam, and those are topography, geology and foundation condition, availability of construction material, spillway size, roadway. Then land and height of the dam, life of dam, earthquake zone, and the cause. Now, the next topic that is the factors that affecting while selecting the site for the dam. Wherever we need to construct a particular dam on a river scene, at which particular place we will fix the dam site. So, to select that particular dam site, which factor we need to consider that we will discuss in this talk. Well, the first factor that is the suitable foundation. Well, suitable foundation should be available at the site that is selected for a particular type of dam. So, for the gravity dam, 
cause that sound rock uh, foundation is essential and for the other lamp any type of foundation you can use with the proper treatment well in general however the foundation should be free from seams or open pockets or the fault planes well, no name should be built across the fault that is known to have been active in the recent time the best conditions are when a dam can be built on one uniform formation so wherever you are selecting a particular dam site you must uh, check that particular whole surface or whole topography is it uniform or not or having a, a very different elevations okay so at such particular place uh, it is inconvenient to construct uh, a particular dam so it is sometimes possible to improve the foundations by adopting some appropriate foundation treatments and then we can construct a particular dam well the next that is the topography as far as possible the dam should be located where the river has the narrow jaw which opens out at the upstream to create the large reservoir in that case the length of the dam would be small and the capacity of the reservoir on the upstream side would be large so that both the purpose can be served that we could have the better storage of uh, water as well as if we are using that particular dam for all the electricity purpose electricity generation so we can also have the sufficient amount of water to generate that electricity okay now a major portion of the dam should be on the high ground as this would reduce the cost and facilitate the drainage purpose so basically in this segment it is being said that whenever you are selecting a site for them you must have to check that on which to end river has a very small or very narrow width okay so at that particular narrow width you need to construct a dam so that at upstream side you may have the larger area okay also that we have to make sure that at upstream side it should have the have the large area so that we can construct a large reservoir understood the next that is the site for spillway right a good site for the location of a separate spillway is essential especially in the case of earthen dam or rock fill dam well however in the case of rabbit dam the spillway may be located at its middle the best site for a dam may be considered uh, to be one where a deep gorge and the flank at its side are separated by hillocks so at such place uh, the main dam can be located in the gorge and the spillway can be constructed in the saddles next that is the construction material the dam requires a large quantity of material for its construction and stable type of material in sufficient quantity should be available at or near the dam site to reduce the cost the next that is the reservoir and uh, catchment area well the reservoir site uh, should be such that the quantity of leakage through its side and the bare area would be minimum well the reservoir site should be such that it avoids or it excludes water from those tributaries which carry a high percentage of silt in water well the site should be such that deep reservoir should be formed also the cost of land and the property submerged in the water should be minimum when the reservoir basin on the upstream of the dam should be preferably be cup shaped with a flat bottom but the steep slope okay so these are the criteria for reservoir then uh, the next that is the communication it would be preferable to select a site 
which is connected by a road or a railing or can be conveniently connected to the site for transportation of cement, machinery, labors, food and other equipments. The next factor that is the locality where the surrounding near the site should be preferably be healthy and free of mosquitoes etc for the labors because as labor and the staff colonies have to be constructed have to be stayed on the construction site or near the construction site so the surrounding should be preferably healthy as well as free of the mosquitoes and kind of insects the last that is the cause the site should be such that it entails the minimum overall cost of the project that including subsequent maintenance and all the other expenditures. So these are the factors that we should consider or we should keep in mind while selecting the site for dam and those are suitable foundation, topography, site for the spillway construction, material, reservoir and catchment area, communication, locality and the cost. Okay. So this is all for today's lecture. Thank you so much students for your kind attention. I will see you in the next lecture. I hope you understand this topic thoroughly. Thank you.